Hi, this is Joe Stuckey, CTO at SalesCentric. In this uh, video, we're going to show you how to configure one-to-many relationships uh, as they're stored in CRM and maximize those on a uh, relationship chart. Uh, the example I'm going to use is uh, accounts and subaccounts. First off, as you can see, you uh, go into the administration from settings and relationship chart administration. Again, I'm going to do uh, accounts and subaccounts. As you can see, I click on the uh, relationship chart template account. And I'm going to go into the displayable relationships. And I'm going to click on the account to account relationship. Out of the box when we ship, we, we store those as a save as a standard CRM relationship. We're going to change this one to save as many to one. Uh, of course, since it's an account to account, the storage will be account and the to filter is going to be the parent account ID and now we save it so we've stored the hierarchical ownership uh, between account to account uh, for uh, one to many using the CRM so use an account to sub account as an example again this is for uh, in the example of a account to sub account we can also build a generation template so uh, what this will allow us to do is to automatically do some data mining, if you would have it. We'll call this uh, find subaccounts, uh, and you just hit save here. And then you 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 uh, select the rules, and from there uh, you name it again. Let's just say it's find subaccounts again. And by default, since it's a uh, relationship type is account to account, we'll leave that. But you can see we, we would normally choose that. And we want to use what we just defined as hierarchical. Uh, we leave that. And, and we hit save and close. Now let's go to uh, the relationship chart side as we save and close all these. Uh, I'm going to go to the account coder technology. And I built a blank relationship chart for uh, this purpose just to, to show the generation chart templates and uh, as with any good VPC it takes a second to, to come up. So you can see there there they are but I'm going to delete these uh, and and we'll say that so as to not have any information in there. You'll see that it's completely blank. Alright. And now I'm going to use a generate chart template to, to test out what we just found. Uh, find sub accounts just as we built before. There they are. And you can see that it brings them all to uh, the chart. In generate uh, charts, it only brings down two levels this level and the next one. So if we want to look and see if there's anything for DW uh, Inc., we can right click and apply that generated uh, generation chart template again or we can bring related accounts hierarchical. So it just allows us to drill down just a little bit further. Okay, and there we are. Thanks for listening, and I hope you've learned how to work with one to many with the example of sub accounts uh, and accounts, and then also building a generation chart. Thanks a lot.